hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged so it's not in the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all so finesse two times has a message to other rappers and bloggers y'all he don't want bloggers and other people to talk about his chain that he just <laughs> that he just bought y'all is he serious you can talk about people and rap about people but people cannot have an opinion on the things that you're out here doing are you serious he said i'm gonna just let y'all hear it for y'all self y'all gotta hear this this is funny Shit. I'm on my way to a fucking meeting with RCA. Okay, so he says he's on his way to a meeting, a big meeting with RCA. And he's about to make some millions off of some type of deal that they're about to, you know, present him with. Now, why is he going to do a meeting with RCA if he already signed to Mob Ties? That make no sense. So did Mob Ties just cuff him now they're getting him to go sign with another label and then they're gonna get a part of that money that he's about to get signed what's really going on with this this deal y'all see this is what i was talking about what did Montez bring to the table as far as giving this guy money putting him on to put do shows he making some money out of doing shows and they get a cut out of it but did they sign him you know did they give him millions to sign it's looking like they didn't, y'all. But he still is in their back pocket right now. Some don't seem right about whatever deal that he did with Mob Taz, y'all. Because why else would you be going to RCA to talk some business with them if you already signed to Mob Taz? Some don't seem right already. Let's keep going. There's supposed to be some fucking M's on the table. I'm on my way to a fucking meeting. Y'all heard it. But today I'm going live for a purpose. I got a purpose. So he said he going live for a purpose so he can talk about people that's talking about him. Okay. And he's also saying that he don't got no sense. Okay. Now, I believe that part. I truly believe that part right there. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying that he's on a limb, y'all. He will snap out. He ain't going to take no mess. Okay, y'all. So... Pay attention, pay attention, because people like him don't last long. I'm just telling y'all. Mo3, he was like, didn't take no mess. He wasn't finna take no mess off of nobody. He gonna do things his own way. Dolph, same thing. Here we go again, y'all. Loose cannon. He did not mix signing with mob tasks. He did not need to sign with them. If you they didn't put no mil millions on the table, then what are you doing? Why are you with them? If they didn't put millions on the table for you when you came home, what was the purpose of picking him up in the plane and all this stuff in front and have paperwork and all this stuff? And now he's going to try to get a deal with RCA. Some don't seem right, y'all. Let's keep going. When I usually go live, I just go live for my fans. I go live for my fans and just, just so they can see me and see that I'm in good graces. Let's, let's scan this a little bit. Reason. Y'all got me fucked up. Everything I do, bitch, is for a purpose, bitch. So, I don't know who he talking about right now. Okay? He just... Well, he said bloggers and other rappers. So, he's saying everything he does for a purpose. So, um, he's also going to... He's about to address the chain on why he got the chain. Okay? Just keep going. Everything I do, bitch, I don't do nothing for anything. When it comes to my fucking chain, I own three clans, man, bitch. Okay, so he's living in some kind of spaced out reality, okay? Just because you have a chain that looks like you have some people hung doesn't mean they're really hung, dear darling, okay? Um... Wearing a chain does not mean the same as actually doing it, okay? So, you're making yourself look real stupid right now. I'm just saying, y'all, okay? 
I'm just saying. Uh, I'm doing this for what they did to my people. So for what they did to his people, he goes and get a chain and put it on his neck, walking around, and he probably have, you know, white fans, and everybody is looking at him like he looks stupid with this chain on, okay? Now, he called himself and go to a meeting with this chain on, and y'all know if he's going to a meeting with RCA, nine times out of ten, it's going to be some white folks in there, okay? And he's about to go to a meeting with his clan chain on, okay, y'all? Niggas are stupid sometimes, y'all. I just have to throw that out there. I just it just fell out my mouth. I'm the type of nigga. I give what I get, and I get what I fucking give. The fuck is you talking about? Okay, y'all. You see the duh clan? <sighs> that's that's who goes. So I'm hanging them, bitch. You're not hanging them. You hanging a stupid ass chain around your neck that. Makes you look real dumb. That's what you're hanging. You're not actually hanging people. They were actually hanging people. You're not actually hanging anybody. You're wearing a chain. Making yourself look stupid. That is what you're doing. Okay. And you got little kids out here. That's probably going to see your stupid ass. Walking around with this on their you know, this chain on, and they're going to be looking at you like, why in the world is he wearing that? Okay, that's learning about history and stuff like that. Why would somebody be proud to wear that? Okay, let's go. I love those numbers, so I'm hanging them, bitch. No, you're hanging yourself. You're not hanging them. You're, you have not hung one person. You are hanging a dumbass chain on your neck. Okay, you're actually hanging your own self, to be honest. I'm just saying, y'all. Okay, let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? And when I walk into this meeting and they ask me what they stand for, I'm going to say, I get what the fuck I give. He say when he walk into the meeting and they ask him what it stands for. Um, Stevie Wonder, if you just whispered in his ear and said, um, this, this new rapper, he got a chain. He got three Klansmen um, hanging from it. And Stevie Wonder would know what that means. Okay, y'all? So why wouldn't the people at RCA know what this means? Y'all, our people are so lost. It's sad. It's so sad, y'all. And you can tell things are already starting to get to him. And I think that things are starting to get to him because of the fact that he's allegedly back using the street pharmacy stuff y'all okay and i don't want to hear oh he just got a jail he got to do drops that don't mean nothing when you got some money okay you can pay somebody and they can be, or put on the paperwork that you clean okay y'all so um ain't nobody trying to hear all of that okay money talks and bull crap walks this guy is not moving around with the people he's moving around with and don't have the history of using street pharmacy stuff that he used to have and he's not using it. Okay, y'all? So I don't even want to hear that. Let's go. They do us. They do us dirt. Fuck them. And then I sold them and reached for it. The fuck are you talking about? The last nigga asked the last nigga what happened. He said ain't a soul going to reach for it. What, he going to be quick to run? See, this one I hate, you know, people try to come to my comment section like, oh, you would have ran too. This is what we're talking about. Somebody jumps on social media, call himself calling out the bloggers. Now he calls himself calling out other rappers. And he's talking about RCA before he even gets to the damn meeting. He's posting a post talking about RCA. Ain't nobody going to say nothing about it. Ain't nobody going to snatch it. You just finish running off the damn stage. Okay. Like a little scared punk. And now you're getting up here trying to act hard. This is what people were talking about. They wasn't trying to be like, call him out like, oh, he ran. It wasn't even about that. When I did that video, I was talking about the fact that he even had to run in the first place. He should be in an establishment where people are searched. And can't no weapons be even brought in the place. What kind of, you know, label is he with that he 
is doing little places like this and you're running off the stage. You're hiding behind your security and now you're sitting up here talking shit, telling the bloggers and stuff to leave you alone. Okay, y'all, pay attention to the unwinding of finesse two times. Okay, y'all? Ask the last nigga what happened when he reached for my fucking shit. You ran. That's what happened. You took the hell off running. And you made sure you got behind that big old bodyguard. That's what happened to the last. If you want to just keep on playing these games. Ask the last nigga what happened when he, when he reached for it. I don't play that shit. And that nigga know me know that. So I'm both going to come faking. Because I ain't doing no faking like that. Y'all, he sounds stupid. He sounds real stupid, y'all. You know, a lot of people were respecting this guy for the fact that his music, he's talented. But when he opens his mouth, he's almost like Boosie. He's messing up his legacy because the things that he's saying and the things that he's doing. Okay? Pay attention to the unwinding of Finesse Two Times. White Jamaican. Fuck is niggas talking about? Y'all making me get out of my fucking character because I've been gone five years and motherfuckers want to ridicule me or motherfucking judge me for what I do. When they don't even ask questions. They don't even ask questions. They just automatically ridicule me. Don't fucking ridicule me. Don't fucking play with me. I don't play. He, you know, the part that gets me is he wasted money on a chain like this just to make himself look like a damn fool this is the part that's let's keep going y'all the fuck is you talking about my people do not stand for play hold on my brother at the door his brother at the door He was just about to get the swinging. <laughs> so somebody came to the door and he looked out and he didn't see nobody and talked about he was about to get the swinging. Well, why would you open the door if you didn't see nobody? You know that. He sounds stupid, y'all. I'll see you in a minute, bro. They scan them back to the. I'm gonna scan them a little bit, y'all. Back up here. They got me fucked up. Fuck is wrong with niggas. I'm not finna play. I ain't come to play. I ain't come to play. Everything I do is gonna be for a reason. Everything that I do is gonna be for a fucking reason. I'm just keep pausing it, y'all, so they won't be trying to hit my video. I'm not gonna do nothing for nothing. You see what I'm saying? Everything got a meaning behind it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me at all. No rapper, no blog, no 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 site, no none No none of it. No psych. What the heck is he talking about? No psych. Okay, y'all. Okay. Cause I ain't no rap nigga. He said he ain't no rap nigga, but he's a rapper. Okay, let's go. I ain't like no rap nigga. And guess what? Let me sit down when I say this. Let him sit down, y'all. Let me sit down when I say this. Let me sit down when I say this. Okay. I don't want no problem. He don't understand that people are just trying to warn him. He the one that ain't been out here for five years. He do not understand what's really going on around him. And he thinks everybody is the problem by trying to, you know, give him a little advice, y'all. Okay? Let's keep going. That's my motto. That's the motto that I live by. That's the motto that I live. This is my motto. This is my saying. I don't want no problem with no nigga. And don't no nigga want no problem with me. That's the fucking motto. That's the motto. That's the motto, y'all. I'm out here on federal probation. Tomato, tomato. I gotta go against the feds and the ops. I'm humble. I'm trying my best to make it through this thing 
get my money, raise my kids. Sounds good. But you're making dumb moves, okay? That's all we're saying. You're making some little stupid moves. You're just looking a little dumb right now. Support the people who work for me. Keep the good music coming for my fans. Don't come for me. Leave me alone. Why would he go get a chain like that and he not expect people to talk about it, y'all? That's number one. How is that coming for him by saying that was a dumb move buying a chain like that? And he still think that people is coming for him. He don't know a lot of people is in his corner. They they wanting him to do good. But when you sign with certain particular people that's mixed up in a bunch of mess, then that makes you look bad, y'all. Even that people saying the same thing about Mozzie. Mozzie ain't on social media talking about don't come for me. Everything I do, I do it for a reason. Bloggers, leave me alone. Um, rappers, leave me. Mozzie ain't doing that. Mozzie signed with CMG. He knew what came with it. And he accepted it, and he's gone. People gave their opinion, and he just rocked with it. But this guy, you're not supposed to give your opinion now. Because he made the same mistake Mozzie made, okay? Signing with somebody that's out here allegedly putting bags on folks, okay, y'all? Let's keep going. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He is getting paranoid, y'all. Is it the street pharmacy stuff that he's using? Okay, allegedly. Is it, y'all? Because he's jumping on social media talking about leave me alone. Is his crew sitting back laughing when he make videos like this? Okay? Is they sitting back like he ain't going to be able to handle this? The fact that you even addressing people about your chain. You went and got something that everybody's going to talk about. So why are you getting upset when people's giving their opinion on the chain? You knew it was going to cause controversy. So you cannot say, leave me alone, y'all. Go for any rapper, any blogger, any, leave me alone. Oh my I'm genuine, I'm humble. I just want to work. I just want to get my money. Stay out here. Stay free. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I didn't get too much time. I've been gone 15 years of my life. I'm 30 years old. Wow, y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, y'all. I don't mean to laugh. But you all see his things around him is not as they seem, y'all. You see it already. You all see this. Leave me alone. They go for everybody. Leave me alone. Because I'll fucking black out. Leave me alone. So he's saying he will black out. He will black out. And I heard this. I heard this. They say he about that life. He don't play when it comes to that. When he snap, he's going to snap out. But the thing of it is... He is taking things the wrong way. You go do something controversy is what you just did. People going to talk about it, dear. They're going to talk about it. People thinking that you made a mistake signing with mob ties. People going to talk about that. Okay? They're going to talk about it. You are being lined up. Okay? In numerology. It's already gone. This is what they're... I showed it to y'all. Go to my video and look it up. That video that I put out about him being lined up. I try to put it in my description box if you all have not seen it. Look at those numbers in numerology. He is being lined up in numerology. And all the rappers that has been being lined up has been taken out, y'all. When somebody put this out, it's not to jinx him. It's to warn him to be careful y'all okay that's all that's it you know, you know, I just want to give me some money take care of my family take care of the ones who were there for me okay y'all he's saying basically the same thing over and over I just want to show y'all that you know things are getting to him right now y'all things are getting to him right now so it is what it is y'all seeing the unwinding of 
finessed two times already. He just got out. Now, like I said, is he coming like this for the fact that, you know, they slipping him these little cups with all this little, you know, stuff in the cups that's making people wild out and act a fool and get paranoid and all the other stuff. But, y'all, it is what it is. I told y'all the stuff that was out before he went in is different than the stuff that's out here right now. Can he handle the street pharmacy stuff that's out here right now? Because he's known for, you know, using street pharmacy stuff. So is that all that partying and hanging out with, you know, his crew and stuff? Is this things are starting to, you know, he getting a little paranoid, y'all. Okay? And who is he talking about leave me alone? You cannot go back a chain with people hung and not think people going to talk about it. You you sound stupid because you're talking about something that's very controversy and everybody's going to give their opinion on how they feel about this chain, y'all. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.